So one thing about Bug Commander is there have been some epic pranks. I mean like call 911 type pranks. Some of them have been towards me uh, and I've had to take it. Some I've dealt some out, but um, I'll just tell you this, no one is safe when you're around the Buck Commander boys. You go to your little home. <laughs> Got him! It's not, it's not over. <laughs> God, y'all are so wrong. Somebody is gonna pay. So here's a list of our top Buck Commander pranks. Brought to you by Decked. Number six, one man left behind. And Roach has this bright idea that, that uh, you know, we need to bond and have these team building exercises and wants to take us out in the middle of nowhere. Just the buck men, too. Is, yeah, is... just the six of us. Go out, set up a tent. Well, I'm truly excited about... I think it's a horrible idea. So you open up the tent, and it's just beds. It's like one big slumber party. For these spoon-fed prima donna city slickers, this is roughing it. Camp started out great. It was just the group, which really gave us a chance to uh, to get to hang out. I think it's pretty funny if tonight we leave Luke asleep in this tent by himself out here on about 1,800 acres but we're actually gonna go back to camp. So when he wakes up in the morning, guess who's gonna be here all by himself? Mr. Mr. Country Boy, shake it for me. So the first actual team decision that we made all night was as a team, we're leaving Luke. So long story short, out of out of six buck men, your boy was the only one that stayed all night in the tent. And I woke up at four in the morning, realized the joke was on me. You didn't stay, you got left. There's well, a I, difference. It was one of the more tranquil nights I can I can remember. So thanks guys. Anytime y'all wanna set the tent up for me, uh, I'll be glad to go spend a the night there. I was the tough man. I toughed it out. I was on my bus. In bed, comfy as can be, watching TV. I hear Glad you. you had a good time. Number five, dirty diaper wake up call. Did you take a big boom? You got some green paint. You need fucking assistance? Diaper. Let's don't do dough extras, because I'm gonna like stick it on his face or something. Who's? Willie's. Oh, yeah. You got some ideas for scent? I'll take a duke in it right now. I'm telling you, look at that. Oh, there you go. That even sounded bad. That sounded realistic. <laughs> Corn. You got the plate. Chicken. Um, oh my gosh. We've all seen that color change So, what do we need to do? How are we going to go about this? I think you need to man up. What? No, I'll go do what with the real, with the real turd. Yeah. Where's that's, he at? That's crossing the line. Where's bro. he at? That's what makes you sicker than the rest of that's us. That's right. How about we just go blindfold him? Just like a, um, <laughs> oh. like a painter's mask. We'll just go lay it over his nose.
I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Wait, don't make you hungry first, son. Number four, Operation Rage. All right, Buck Commander fans, as you well know, we're the pranksters from long since back. And uh, Mr. Terry Carr here deserves, uh, it. deserves it. Yeah, here at uh, Bill Buster's Ranch. And uh, he's always jacking with us. We're jacking with him back. We're jacking his truck up off the ground where he can't go anywhere. We're also filling the floorboard, front floorboard of his truck up with Acorn Rage, because it's awesome. And we like doing things like that. So, watch and see. Terry's gonna get jacked. Now it's Acorn Rage and Terry Carr. That is for car hauling us all week long on our spots. Hiding all the big deer, being stingy, this is what happens. Good talking there. Okay. <laughs> You never thought they'd use product this way, did you? 35 pounds, acorn rage. Oh, couldn't it get ugly up in here? You ready? You ready? <laughs> Beautiful. See you in the morning. Can't wait. Yeah. Morning, All right. Yep. Hey, can't wait to see what stand you pick for us in the morning. Terry, I'll call your agent tomorrow. Looking we'll forward to that. Good night. Breakfast. Good night. Get a breakfast lads. <laughs> oh, and see, there's one. Operation Rage is a success. I guess so. I wondered, I thought the front end of the truck looked like it was dipping a little bit. <laughs> oh, it is. Did he do both sides? Good work, boys. We're in your window down, Terry. I want to see you. Yeah. Thank you for the rage. I know you had something to do with probably. I can't push the accelerator. I want him going gear. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little more gas. <laughs> I want him going gear. Uh, hey, that's why the front of your truck looked like it was leaning forward. <laughs> Number three, Oreo overload. So as you all know, Rochi is the consummate prankster and nobody has ever really gotten Rochi because we know that if you get him, we're going to pay for it. That's a lot of Oreos. Well, I'm very fortunate to have Anthony Sherman from the Kansas City Chiefs. And we also happen to know that Rochi loves Oreo cookies. Anthony, how do you like to eat your cookies? I'll have one. Do you like to peel them or you just like to pop them all in? Just Hot morning. Morning, yeah. What did he say? Well, yeah, the guy just kind of looked at me like, what do you need 13,000 Oreo cookies for? Rochi loves Oreo cookies so much. In his house, he not only hides his Oreo cookies, but he has them in a lockbox. So, Mr. Sherman and I thought, what better way to give Rochi 13,000 Oreo cookies than to put him in his favorite lockbox, which would be his Ford Raptor. He loves Oreos. So I want his truck to smell like Oreos from now until the end of time. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God, that's great. Clean up aisle two. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What'd you guys do? No. 
Somebody is going to pay. <laughs> Maybe everybody. Pay for what? Hey, it'll happen. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. You idiot. Hey, I don't know where the bodies are. <laughs> you like Oreos, right? I love Oreos. I guess it's a good thing. You got you. But I'm, I'm just trying to pinpoint. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who would have the stones to do this. Oh my gosh. Come on, open your door. Here it comes. the look on your face right now. Number two, rat in a bag. Luke's the best person in the world to play a prank on. So um, today in the, uh, in the stand, Hunter has agreed to allow us to uh, put like nasty. that in Luke's backpack. Go to your little home. Go to your home. Nope, 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 nope. In, there. in there, in there, in there, in there. Luke, being in my batteries, okay? I got you, buddy. Oh, so strong! <laughs> giggity, giggity, I'm gone. He gone. Look at, look at my bag, see if there's earplugs in there. They might be something in my pocket. Well, I reached down in there, and it was not a mouse, or it, you know, it was a like a, a, a skinned wharf rat. I'm killing all y'all. There's a freaking rat in this bag. A freaking sewer rat. <laughs> Kitty <Kidding> mouse. <laughs> that is. Whoa. That's Mr. Bo Dudley. You know, I'm trying to make peace with it and trying to have a have a nice little moment with our new little friend. And... <laughs> Making too much noise. I pick him up and he takes off and runs up my arm, and I reach around to grab him. <laughs> Matt, look at there. <laughs> and I'm talking about to the bone. I'm finna have stage three rabies. You know, ever since then, I've kind of been having fevers at night and cold chills, and so I've probably got some been kind of. Been wanting to eat a lot of cheese. Yeah, I've probably got some kind of rare sewer rat virus. So thank you, Bo Dotley. I mean, I'm, ble I'm gonna bleed to death in here. And the number one Buck Commander prank of all time is Luke and the Game Warden. Roachie's got a little prank uh, up his sleeve for this evening. Everybody knows about it. About the dude that's getting punked. So I went through all the guys in my head thinking who would be the most fun to mess with. Luke Bryan. Look, man, this has absolutely nothing to do with you personally. You just happened to fit the bill for somebody that we thought would fall for this. So we still love you, and I apologize ahead of time. We've played a lot of pranks on people over the years and, and done a lot of crazy things, but uh, what Rochi is about to pull on Luke is 
it might be over the top. How's it going? How are you? Conservation agent. You got any type of ID? Your I, 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 sir, I'm so sorry I left my dig on wallet. I, it seems like a nice enough guy, and he starts asking questions and what we're doing, but he's not giving me any slack. You go by Tom or Thomas or Luke. Luke. Okay. Well, did you put him in the right backpack? He thought he lost his license, although Hunter took it out of his backpack and was holding it for him. Since you don't have an ID, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seize your bow for now. Is this your vehicle or is this? It's n neither one of ours. It's, it's actually whose ve who's vehicle is this under Willie? It's actually Willie Robertson's. I don't want any part of this. <laughs> I don't. I wash my hands of this deal. If I got to have you post bond, that's a whole different game because then you got to go with well, me back to be, Nevada, Missouri. Be... So. So Luke was in full panic, on the phone calling agents, lawyers, managers, anybody who would answer, which was nobody, to try to get him out of this situation. So where's he at? Did it, so did he write you he's a ticket? Call, well, he's got home? my bow. He's trying to get his supervisor on the phone to see if I've got my license so he can write me a ticket so he doesn't have to bond me. Where's oh, home? my gosh. The hardest part was for all of us to keep a straight face. Does he know where? I, does he know you're staying with me? Yes. Does he know who I am? Do I know him? Do does you this, know him? Well, it, it don't ring a bell. Can we find your license? We're all be going. Do you if have Grant, it? If somebody uh, has a cell phone uh, that can contact Grant, yes. Did y'all find the license? We got him. Hook, line, and sinker. Benny, what are you doing? Are y'all joking with me? Did y'all get me? We got you. You Legal <laughs> 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 Well done. Thank you. Well, you <laughs> never heard of that ever. <laughs> 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 so this was a team effort. We had all the camera guys involved. Uh, we had quite a few of the Buckmen involved. We had the local game warden involved. I love it when a plan comes together. What you got, Luke? let you call, call my wife for me. <laughs> you all know we've pulled many pranks in our show. This has to be the smoothest, most well accomplished prank to date. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We love you. God, y'all are so wrong. <laughs> the good guy, the nice guy, gets picked on once again. So I have ammo and I have fuel for you guys. Get ready. Retribution is on the way. Hey guys, be sure and like and subscribe and be looking out for more of these episodes coming soon.